it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Camden Town and it's a can of their Bellini Lager. Uh, I picked this up in Morrison's. It says drink fresh, uh, crisp and ripe 2023. So I think this, oh, it's, it's a peach lager, peachy and proud. It's 5.2% ABV. It's in a 440 milliliter can. And I've got to be perfectly honest with you. I, I like the sound of this. I really, really like the sound of this. It cost me in Morrison's £2.50. £2.50 for a 5.2% ABV Camden Town Lager. Now, in comparison, I paid three pound three pounds twenty five so seventy five pence more for that northern monk sauce and cream cream and sauce, whatever it was called sauce and the ice cream pale ale from Northern Monk, which is undrinkable. I poured it away. So yeah, 75 pence cheaper and fingers crossed, it should be a bit better. Uh, brew with Pilsner and flaked rice, uh, Bavarian lager yeast, uh, the kettle hops of Pearl, the Whirlpool and Nelson Sovin. The dry hopping is HBC 431 and Halletau Blanc. So it's not all about the peach then. But I got a question to if anybody's watching who are big fans of Camden Town. Back in the day when they were an independent company, because I think they're owned by AB InBev now. So one of the big, yeah, AB InBev own this company now. But when they were independent, um, they made they made a wheat beer. And my question, I think it was in a little blue can or a blue bottle. But my question to the Camden Town fans out there is, do they still produce the Camden wheat? I used to love that beer back in the day. So, one finger white head, a large carbonation, large bubbles that are sticking to the edge of the glass. Um, an old brewer once told me the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. So, seeing large carbonation like this, mixed with small carbonation, I must say. I don't know, hopefully, hopefully the beer's okay. It's hazy, it's straw colored. Let's get the aroma. It smells okay, the aroma's really good. A, a small hint of peach, which I'm kind of happy with. I don't want it overpowered with peach, if I'm honest. But you're picking up that white wine, Nelson Sovin hop aroma. So the Nelson Sovin hop is produced on the same, in the same area, in the same region of New Zealand as where they produce the Sauvignon uh, grape, the white grape. So there's characteristics in the soil that offer that kind of white grape aroma in the, in the beer when you use the Nelson Sovin hop. It smells very good, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. <laughs> oh Camden Town, that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. That is really well done. It's so crisp, so refreshing. On a hot day like it is today. It's gonna to be about 30 degrees out there today in South Wales. And you know, you're thinking to yourself, cold lager only kind of cold lager this t when it gets this hot. But with that little hint of peach, that white grape flavour, the 
drinkability on the beard is absolutely fantastic. It's a little bit spicy, peppery. There's a little bit of that kind of crisp Pilsner malt coming through. That is... That is something to behold, that is. I really like that. Comparing that to that ice cream pale ale from Northern Monk for £3.25, sitting next to it, incidentally, on the shelf in Morrison's, it's like chalk and cheese. The ice cream pale ale was poured down the sink by Northern Monk. I don't like giving myself, I don't like putting, <laughs> all my food reviews, uh, I don't like putting too much kind of artificial rubbish in my body these days, the food reviews. Um, certainly when it comes to beer, when I think about beer, I want my beer to be clean, refreshing, relatively healthy, all of that lovely malt, all of that lovely kind of oats and malts in the beer. I don't need to be tasting ice cream concentrates in beer. I mean, I don't need to be tasting adjuncty ice cream concentrates like that in my beer. And I'll be honest with you, the reason why I'm talking about this right now is because it's, it's pointed me in the direction. My whole way of thinking now when it comes to beer is I want to find a really good quality lager these days. I will lean away as far as I can from, I mean, let's have a look at these two. These are coming up on the channel. A pineapple pale from Se Seven Brothers Brewing Company. I'm dreading reviewing that, dreading it. I'm almost thinking, what am I gonna stand here and talk about for six or seven minutes regarding that beer? I'm also re re like dreading reviewing this beer, a rhubarb and custard pale ale from Northern Monk. What am I going to talk about? I'm just going to be standing moaning for minute after minute about, about poor tasting craft beer these days. But there is a choice, of course, there is a choice. Um, I don't mind this, I don't mind this whatsoever because there's a small touch it's like a little faint touch of peach, which actually works really well in the beer. And it makes the beer massively refreshing. So as of this moment, the craft beer industry, not, I mean, this is just touching. There's just a few breweries now that are leaning towards producing lazy adjuncty style pineapple-y rhubarb and custardy. I blame Tiny Rebel. I blame Tiny Rebel for all of this, all of this kind of nonsense. Um, it's not for me. It's almost like I'm losing a little bit of interest in IPA and Pale Ale because it's becoming a bit of a farce at the moment. Um, I'm looking forward to the day where you can go back to the supermarket shelves, the bottle shops, and, and they'll just be kind of really nice, solid, hoppy IPAs and pale ales. Um, and the reason why I mention all of that is because if craft beer carries on down that road, then I'm just gonna take the other road and drink really good lager. This is a really, really, really good lager. 3.2% peach puree. It's so good. And it's cheaper. It's 75 pence cheaper than the ice cream pale ales. That is superb beer. Superb beer from Camden Town. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.